Hey, I'm Laura. Just quickly, we here at Grit TV are proud to bring you independently produced content every day. Now it's your chance to help us. Grit TV has been offered a $100,000 challenge grant. Every dollar you give right now between now and June 30th is worth $3 to us. We've only got a few more weeks to meet the match. Will you help? You can donate at our website, grittv.org. Meanwhile, enjoy this clip. So who says Obama can't show anger? Helen Thomas sure made him angry. After video hit YouTube of 89-year-old reporter Helen Thomas telling an interviewer in her frustration that Israelis should get out of Palestine and go back to Poland and Germany and other places, ouch, the White House issued an immediate strong condemnation. Reprehensible was their word. In the ritual flagellation that's followed, one can't help thinking that while Thomas's comments were stupid and offensive, the grand dam of the White House press corps would have gotten less grief if she, I don't know, purposely cheated the financial system or killed 11 and destroyed an ecosystem or shot nine men dead in the head in international waters. Thomas's comments were regrettable, and she's regretted them, and she's resigned, which is more than can be said of most pundits who say hateful things in the money media. Yet, the White House Correspondents Association has shown more fury in the last 24 hours towards Thomas than they've ever shown towards hate-spewing talk jocks or the journalists who, unlike Thomas, softballed Bush for eight straight years and passed on the lies that led us into war. Sometimes a person's strengths are also their weaknesses, and Thomas was and remains a bulldog. She doggedly questioned President Bush about war and torture at a time when the rest of the press corps rolled over. In return, they now appear, appear more shocked by her comment, laced with 70 years of horrific history, it's true, but nonetheless more outraged by a comment than they are by the deaths of flesh and blood humans. Thomas's crime, you have to think, wasn't just anti-Semitism. It was anti-Semitism in defense of Palestine. That seems to be the true source of the outrage, the outrage that Obama and Biden and most other U.S. officials, to say nothing of the majority of the press corps, can't seem to find about others.